Hey guys, so a couple days ago I did my skincare, yeah, skincare routine. So today I'm going to do my hair care routine, which you guys have once again asked a bunch about. So I decided to just show you guys what I do to my hair. First off, in the shower, what I do with my hair is, um, like before I get in the shower, before I get in the shower, what I'll do is like I'll either brush it out or sometimes if it's like put up or something, I'll just leave it. Like normally I'm not one of those people that's like really, I don't know, like die hard has to brush their hair before they get in the shower and I don't know why but I always kick myself afterwards because when I get in the shower and my hair is all tangly I'm like dang it I should have you know brushed my hair but I just I never ever do I just but um, when I'm in the shower what I like to use and by the way I'm gonna use all these products that are all chi which makes me sound like such a uh, like I don't know snooty patootie but it's just because I got it all from TJ Maxx so yeah, but um, I use the Chi Infra system, so it's got the Infra shampoo, the Infra shampoo, and the Infra treatment. So both of these are like super de duper de awesome products. Like I love these to death. Um, the shampoo is really really moisturizing because this is like a moisture therapy shampoo. So like if you have like dead ends and split ends and all that nastiness, if you use this like little system, it really 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 works. Um, after you use the shampoo, you can feel that it washed your hair, but like it's super duper moisturized, which I love to death. So I like the shampoo better than the conditioner. This is the Infra Treatment, and it's a thermal protective treatment. Yeah, and um, you're supposed to leave it on for two to five minutes, like apply a generous amount of the Chi Infra Treatment, and then leave it on for two to five minutes, and you just rinse it out. So I guess it's kind of... It's, I guess it's supposed to be a deep conditioner maybe, but I use it as like a regular conditioner. Whoops. It's really, really great. I like it. Honestly, this one actually, the shampoo kind of moisturizes more than the Infra Treatment. Or maybe I'm just not noticing the moisture because it's already moisturized because of the shampoo. So I don't know. But I love both of these products and I use them religiously. I like my staples in the shower. So I use those. And after I'm done, I'll get out of the shower. And the first thing that I do is brush my hair and... I use a brush kind of like this one. This one's my friend, so sorry, Hannah, I have your brush. But this is the Chi Turbo CB10, and I don't use this one because I don't want to pay extra for a Chi brush. So Hannah, probably shouldn't have bought this, but no, I'm just kidding. But um, I'll use like the goodie version of this or something. But um, I get one of these like paddle brush kind of looking things, and I will just run it through my hair, especially if I didn't brush my hair before my shampoo and my shower. So. Yeah, which is every day or every time. And then what I'll do after I brush it all out, I put in cheese silk infusion. So this is a tiny, tiny little bottle of it. Um, I'm going to go back and get the big bottle. But I just grabbed this one because I had it around me. And um, this stuff lasts you forever. So if you are going to buy one, don't be like, you know, like intimidated by the huge bottles. Get a little one because you don't have to like go for the giant ones it's not like it, it would take you literally like four years to get all that stuff or use all that stuff so I use this little bottle but what you do is you just take it and this is a silk reconstructing complex I don't know if it does any of that but it makes your hair so soft and shiny it is so pretty and um, I actually used it today so yay but um, what I'll do is after I brush it all out I'll take that in between my fingers and I'll run it all in my hair like this and I'll you know do the side all that kind of jazz and then I'll run it back through with my, ooh, what is going on here? Um, I'll run it back through with my brush so it gets it like completely coated. A lot of people like using wide tooth combs because it doesn't hurt your hair as much when you're like, you know, when it's wet already. But for some reason, just paddle brushes work better for me. Like my hair dries faster. So um, then I will let my hair dry for about like 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'll either blow dry it or flat iron it. No, no, no. I'll blow dry it first. And I do that upside down. So I'll like flip my hair so that it's like facing the ground and I'm bent over. And I blow dry my hair so it gives my hair more volume. And then after that, I'll flip it back up. And I will either flat iron it. Or what I also sometimes do is I'll stick it up in a bun and then sleep on it. And then it'll be curly in the morning. Um... But yeah, I blow dry my hair for like maybe 10 minutes, possibly. That's like the most that I ever blow dry it because it's already kind of dry from the air drying. And so I don't really need it. And then after I blow dry, um, if I flat iron, I use my pink Dazzle Chi flat iron. And once again, that's what I was saying. I'm using like all Chi products. But believe me, I'm not a Chi snob. I'm totally supportive of other brands. And um, to prove that point, after I'm done flat ironing, what I'll do is I'll flip my hair over again. I know, I should be getting like a seizure from all this movement of my head. But, <laughs> or a concussion or something. 
uh, hemorrhage. Um, either way, so I'll flip it back over and I spray the Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray by Herbal Essences. And I can't find the cap, which is a problem because that happens to me with every hairspray I have ever owned. I always lose the cap. Really, really great. The only thing is I don't like feeling stiff hair, but like that just kind of comes with using hairspray. So I really shouldn't be complaining about that. But um, that's about it. I just kind of spray that on and then I'll leave it for about like 15 seconds and kind of shake my head around while it's upside down so that it kind of dries out and if like, I flip it back over it won't be all straight again. And then I'll flip it back over and run my fingers through the front part so that it don't, you know, it doesn't look like static, you know. And I'll run through my bangs so it doesn't look all like a big block on my head. And then I leave the back and it's done. So that is my hair care routine. Yay. And, oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.